Greetings, I'm Nanette Santoro, Professor and East Stewart Taylor Chair of OBGYN at the University of Colorado School of Medicine, and a lot of my expertise in clinical practice has been devoted to menopause. So what I'd like to talk about today are what are the core symptoms of menopause, and when do they start and when do they end? So I call them the core four, and if you're a Yankee fan like I am, you will know the core four really are Derek Jeter, Andy Pettit, Mariano Rivera, and Jorge Posada. But if you're not a Yankee fan, that's okay too. I like the Rockies. Um, the four symptoms that I'm talking about with menopause, though, are hot flashes and night sweats, vaginal dryness or painful intercourse, difficulties with sleep, and uh, difficulties with mood or adverse mood, sometimes uh, depression and sometimes anxiety. Hot flashes and night sweats are the most common symptom, and up to 85% of women going through menopause will report experiencing them at one time or another. But they can begin as much as 15 years prior, and typically will start about around the time of the menstrual period. They tend to be worst right in that year around which a woman has her final menstrual period. So that year before, up until four to five years afterwards, seem to be the worst time. And that's really the time when most women will seek uh, medical help if their hot flashes are severe. Severe hot flashes can cause uh, sweating, they can cause embarrassment, they happen without warning, um, and the night sweats can cause nighttime awakening, which interferes with sleep. By eight years after menopause, only about 15% of women still have hot flashes, but if you're one of those to shout out to you, uh, you need treatment and we won't forget you. Um, but that is a symptom that for the most part uh, goes away, so many women will try to wait and see. Uh, my advice to you is if they're really severe and you're having difficulty sleeping, that you may want to try treatment. Um, not everything has to be hormones either. The second symptom is vaginal dryness or painful intercourse, and that happens to about a quarter of women, mostly in the later parts of the menopause transition when women are skipping many periods. They go three to four months at a time without any bleeding and estrogen levels are low. Unlike hot flashes, uh, Vaginal dryness symptoms do not go away over time, so they tend to stay the same or get worse, and often they need treatment. So if over-the-counter uh, medications aren't working, uh, many women will choose to uh, try some treatment. And again, we now have options other than hormones to treat this annoying symptom. Poor sleep is often the cause of night sweats waking a woman up, but about a third of women will begin to experience worsening of their sleep, again, around the time of their menstrual period, even before they start skipping cycles and entering that menopause transition. Sleep can become worse. Uh, there's not good evidence that specific menopause treatments or hormones are that effective for sleep in all women, but for some women they can help, and for others sleep hygiene or sleep aids may be needed. The last symptom of adverse mood uh, seems to occur to women most commonly in that year right prior to the end of their menstrual periods, what we call the late transition, when periods are few and far between. So women that have not previously been depressed are also at risk. Up to a quarter of women may feel some depressive symptoms, but a smaller number will actually have an episode of major depression. So if you do feel unaccountably sad while your menstrual periods are ending, it could be your hormones giving you a rough ride. And again, this is a good time to seek treatment. So I hope I've clarified for you what some of the things to expect are. Um, the good thing about mood is that it improves after the menopause transition is over, uh, but many women may not choose to ride that one out. 